Hi guys, welcome back. So in the last video, we finished setting up our environment and now we're going to start uh, with our server. I'm starting with the server uh, because uh, it's very simple and it's going to take less than five minutes. So here I am in the server, fol server folder and we already have uh, one file here, package.json. Uh, which we initialized last time. So here um, I'm going to inst uh, install a socket.io npm package and I simply do that by typing npm i socket.io that's it this is going to install the socket.io package and as you can see I have a node modules folder here now which is going to store all my um, node modules for socket.io packages as well. So, yeah. Uh, and now I'm going to create a source folder inside this. So, C. And inside this, I'm going to create a index.js. So, here I need a HTTP uh, module first. So I'm going to say import. Um, I need create server from the HTTP module. That is server yep, from HTTP. And I'm also going to import the server class. Server. Remember, server is the S is capital because it's a class from socket.io there we go now we're going to call this create server and then oops, excuse me and then I'm going to store this in a constant called HTTP server yep and also after that I need an input output co connection from my socket server so I'm going to do new server, right? And this I need to store in a constant called IO, which is input output. Yeah, and inside this uh, socket server, I need to put my HTTP server, which I've created here. Excuse me. Yeah, and uh, also, I need to put the course, um, HTTP course, so this doesn't give us any error later on. Course, yep. I'm gonna write origin as the HTTP slash slash and localhost port 3000. Now, 3000 is gonna be our 3000 is going to be our uh, um, client server and this needs to is uh, of course needs to allow the get method and post method yep this is pretty much it after this uh, we need to have a connection initialized uh, with the IO with the input output so I'm gonna write IO dot on and then simply write the event which is connection and then we need to call, call back an ASIC function so I'm gonna write a async function which is an arrow function inside this uh, it, it has a socket it passes a socket which we're gonna work on in and now inside here we basically have a bunch of socket events now we're gonna see these socket events uh, at a later stage so after this I need to have my HTTP server listen yeah HTTP server, HTTP 
if I can spell right server dot listen now you can write this like this now we need to uh, make it listen to 4000 because we already have our uh, uh, client server uh, listening to 3000 so make sure you don't uh, write 3000 over here make sure you make your server listen to some different port other than 3000 because um, the client uh, is the react by default uh, chooses 3000 but you can change this uh, at any point as well uh, i'm gonna write just for the sake of it i'm gonna write process dot env environment dot port if i ever write it from console otherwise it's gonna be 4000 now the reason i wrote this is because if I choose at a later stage if I choose uh, to run this server at some different port then I'll just uh, write it from my terminal I'll just run it from my terminal and write my and write my port number otherwise if I haven't mentioned this on my terminal when I run the, run the project it's always going to choose uh, the port 4000 so that makes it uh, okay and lastly we need to write i think console.log uh, just to see if this is listening or not listening stdn to port yep so this is pretty much it yep we have a http server connecting we have a create server method called we're creating a new uh, socket.io server our io connection is our io input output is listening to a connection event if the connection is happening we are going to work on some socket events later on and when we are listening to a port our http server is listening to some port yep so this pretty much sums up lastly i think uh, i need to install nodemon because um, if i make any changes over here uh, nodemon will automatically detect and i don't need to uh, stop the server i don't need to stop this uh, program and restart uh, the npm it makes it uh, a lot more easier so i'm gonna write npm install nodemon actually let me clear this so you guys can see it npm i node mod so node one basically lets you uh, run the server uh, if you're making any changes at a real time uh, which is very helpful so yeah this is pretty much it for the server so the only time we're going to come over here is to actually write these socket events otherwise you're pretty much good for now so yeah that's it